How you doing everyone? Hope you're all right. It's cold day. Back again. Um, for those that subscribe to me and follow these videos and watch them and stuff, uh, you'll know what I'm about. For those that don't know, uh, my name's Cody Lachey. I'm a reformed criminal, um, ex-like serious criminal. Uh, been involved with gangland. Um, been in prison. Uh, now do I do interviews with the media uh, on my experiences and like policing levels, prison issues, prison reforms, um, and all that good stuff. I speak out against the system um, and speak about things that are in the media and stuff like drugs, spice within prison, uh, prison uh, officer shortages, all that sort of stuff. Right, today's video is going to be on the PPU, Public Protection Unit. <clears throat> For those that don't know, that um, don't move in criminal circles and stuff, PPU stands for Public Protection Unit, right? It's uh, it's within prisons. It's for people that are subject to non-molestation orders, harassment. Uh, they've got injunctions against them, um, um, restraining orders, harassment charges, witness intimidation, and all that good stuff. Um, right, the Public Protection Unit, in theory, what it means is when you go to prison, like I'm, the reason that I was PPU on public protection unit, um, it's not an actual like it's not a, like a certain wing or anything. It's just it's conditions that are applied to you while you're in prison. Now, what it refers to is like in 2000, in December 2014, uh, on December the I think it was the sixth, I was arrested uh, on a witness intimidation charge. Absolutely rubbish. But um, went to, I'd never been in prison and then ended up in prison, right? I ended up being charged with witness intimidation, conspiracy to intimidate a witness. Um, and then, so when I went to prison, when I was remanded to Strange Ways in Manchester, um, these public protection unit <clears throat> rules applied to me. Now, like, it means you're only allowed 15 minutes a day on the phone. Um, any numbers you put on your pin, right? For those that don't know, it, when you go to prison, it's not just a case of picking up the phone on the wing and dialing the number you want to speak to. It doesn't work like that. What happens is you have a pin number. For, it's like, I think it's about eight digits long, 10 digits long, right? It's a pin number that's it comes back to you. So you've got to apply for numbers to be added to that pin number, i.e. family, friends, girlfriend, all that sort of stuff, right? So what happens, yeah, is you put an app in to, and it's just a piece of paper that comes through your door. You fill it in with the phone numbers that you want to play in. And then the prison uh, ring the numbers to make sure that the people that you've put down want to actually speak to and stuff. Um, it's to make sure that you don't commit any further offences while you're in prison. You're not able to contact the people that like may have put you in prison because obviously if you speak to somebody on the outside, they can get the phone number for someone and then you can ring, you could ring them from prison and threaten them and all that stuff. Um, so obviously it stayed, I got a two year restraining order. Uh, there's two reasons I was on it, right? Because one was obviously this witness intimidation for why I was inside to do with a very well-known Manchester gangster. Um, it was a big case and the police would have been off the streets. There was no evidence, but it was a holding charge. The police would have been away so that they could get this um, gangster put away. Um, I kept my mouth shut when no comment, like I said, was arrested, questioned, with no evidence, I was charged, um, I was refused bail by the police, I went to court, the judge gave me bail, the Crown Prosecution Service appealed it, and I ended up straight in prison that night, I landed up fucking strange ways, um, and you know what the weird thing is of the whole incidents and stuff? I'm actually glad I ended up inside. While I was on remand for the witness intimidation, I had another charge because some guy <clears throat> uh, from the Oldham area, and I won't mention no names, um, thinks he's a bit of a football hooligan, thinks he's a bit of an Andy Ladd. Um, in truth, he's just a, he was just a drunk that every time, he was my sister's boyfriend at the time, and every time he got drunk, he saw fit to beat my sister up. I got involved, um, I threatened him. I turned up at his work, <clears throat> and that's the end of that. He ran to the police like a little bitch, turned up at court, um, and I ended up with this two-year restraining order um, where I couldn't go near him, weren't allowed to contact him, and all this sort of crap. Um, simple, just a woman beating scumbag pussy, yeah? So anyway, so I ended up on these fucking PPU things and everything, right? Once I left Strangeways, eventually, I ended up in Forest Bank, right? Now, Forest Bank, yeah, 
was is a cat B prison in Salford. Houses, I think, fourteen to sixteen hundred people. Anyway, so when I landed at Forest Bank, these PPU things were still in force. This public protection unit, right? But so when it came down to phone numbers being added and stuff, like. I just, I was putting phone numbers in for like the girl I was with at the time, my friends, my family, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then my mum came up on a visit and I said to her, did they ring you? And she went, no. And I was like, right, okay. So in theory, so what I'm saying people is the public protection unit is actually a joke. Like it's not, it's laughable because if you say you've got, say you have a Barney with your missus, right? And you end up giving her a slap, right? Which I don't, I don't condone at all. But if it happens, because a lot of lads in prison because of women and stuff, like, they have them violent, fucking volatile relationships and that, don't they? If you're not allowed to contact your missus <clears throat> because she's got you on charges, right? If you put an app in on the kiosk to get an additional phone number form, when that phone number form comes, as long as you don't put her name, like, if you just put, like, me auntie Pam, blah, 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 right, that number will get cleared because... In the cost cutting and stuff like that, and the, in the fact that the prisons are trying to save money, they're not actually what they're supposed to do is you you put the application in right <clears throat> the app right with all these like five or six phone numbers on ten phone numbers on the the prison right security because you're on the public protection unit and you're supposed to be scrutinised and all this stuff right you're supposed to you're supposed to be able like you're supposed to be scrutinised all your mail's supposed to be read. All the letters you send out are supposed to be scrutinised and gone through and all your phone calls are supposed to be monitored and stuff and obviously the people that you phone call are supposed to be very strict. Um, but that's not the case. Um, if you put an app in with phone numbers on it, um, they'll be cleared. It's as simple as that. Like, when I was in prison, like, I've just got out, yeah, two weeks ago, right, uh, from Forest Bank again, right, um, I put an app in with for my landlord's number and the council's number, right, on my PIN, right, and it wasn't added, it was refused, right? So all I simply did, I applied for another additional phone number form. I got the additional phone number form. I put the same contact number for my landlord and for the council. I just put a different name. I put it was my friend or my uncle or something. And surprise, surprise, a day or two later, they was on. So the, the public protection unit to stop people that are in prison, harassing, threatening, intimidating witnesses, uh, people that may be subject to non molestation orders, uh, charged with harassment offences, in witness intimidation, intimidation of juror, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, I'm just looking down to have a look what's written in front of me, right? And it, like I say, so it's to stop you committing further offences while you're inside. But the simple fact is, is because of the cost cutting and the saving money and stuff, you're able to ring these people. So if you know someone that's put you in prison, say you've had a fallout with your friend or something, or he turned grass on you and stitched you up, right? You can put his number on, right? And you can threaten him, you can ring him. You can, I don't advise you to do it because you're going to rack up charges because the call's recorded. But the thing is as well, um, even if they did check the numbers, which they fucking don't, you just get a mobile phone anyway and just ring them anyway. So like I say, it doesn't stop it. So the fact that the public protection unit's there and the public protection manual's there, it's ridiculous. Like I say, it says here, you must not make or attempt to make any contact with a person against whom the offence of harassment was committed. You must not make, you must not make or attempt to make any contact with a person named in the restraining order or injunction issued by the court under the Protection from Harassment Act 1997. You must not make or attempt to make any contact with a person named in any non-molestation order or other court order. You must not um, make or attempt to make any contact with witnesses involved in your court case. You must not attempts or encourage others to carry out further acts of harassment from the victims of your offence. You must not attempt to encourage others on your behalf to contact with the individuals you requested that you do not contact. And then it says here, mail, all your mail will be monitored and restricted to one piece of A4 paper. Telephone conversations, I'm aware that any telephone conversation will be monitored and recorded by the pin phone system, um, will be restricted to 15 minutes a day. And all I can say to you, they don't check anyway. So, like, example, I, I'm not going to mention no names. A kid that I was padded up with when I was in there two years ago uh, was in for murder, right? Top lad, loved him to bits, yeah, missed him a lot, right? Um, he wasn't allowed to have any contact with his ex, right? And he put an app in with a pin on, and surprise, surprise, the pin, it was accepted. And he used to ring her every minute of the day. 
giving her abuse, giving her shit, threatening her, all this sort of stuff, right? Because, like I say, the public protection you. So, so in theory, what I'm saying is, if you're a, um, if you've got someone in prison because you're a grass, right? Which I fucking hate grasses. But if you've got someone in prison because you're a grass, or you've you put a statement in against someone, which has had someone put sent to prison. Um, the simple facts are, uh, if then people want to contact you from prison, whether it's writing a letter or threatening you on the phone, they're able to do that because the prison in trying to save money and stuff, they're not ringing these mobile phones. They're not ringing these landlines and stuff because it's going to cost them money. So they're putting the public security and like, if you're a person of a nervous disposition, right, and somebody rings you from prison threatening to kill you, they're going to do this to you, they're going to do that to you, or sends a letter from prison to you, right, and you're a person of nervous disposition and there's a pending court case coming up, you might not turn up at court. I don't, like, I, I can't stand people that drop statements anyway. You don't do that. You just, it's just unheard of. You just don't do it. Um, but like I say, it could, like, it could lead to people's safety, being put at risk and being put at harm and because the penny pinching government the ministry of justice these prisons and stuff are not ringing these contact numbers they're not enforcing the public protection unit now like i say i'm just sorry i'm just looking down again right like i say the thing is that's that's scary for obviously i'm, I'm just giving like um what's the word like like a hyper hypothetical situation but it, it's very realistic and it's very real like it, it's scary to say that people that might drop statements and stuff like i say i'm a prisoner speak out for prisoners yeah don't like people that drop statements and everything else but i'm just giving you an hypothetical situation that people that could put that could have pending court cases coming up could attempt or succeed in intimidating witnesses in their case former partners that have got restraining orders injunctions non-molestation orders um, witness intimidation charges, all these sorts of things, right? You can get around it, and it, it could stop. It, it could seriously damage the integrity of the case, because that person then could refuse to give um, evidence. Which, obviously, like I said, I, I don't. I can't stand people that do grass and stuff like that. But again, it's a hypothetical situation, <clears throat> and then obviously, then it'd be a it cause a big ruckus but there's people up and down this country that are on public protection units manuals and stuff that are still contacting former partners ex-partners friends of family of the person and ringing them and stuff willy-nilly because all you've got to do is simply put the phone number in and you can ring that person threaten them giving them abuse um and it happens it happens day in day out throughout prisons there's a lot of lads in prison because of like intimidating witnesses, intimidating a juror, intimidating her ex-girlfriend, intimidating the, the new girl, like the ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend. It goes on. Um, like I say, and like I say, the, the fact that this public protection unit is in place and stuff, it's not worth it, the paper it's written on, to be honest. It, all it means is <clears throat> you can contact these people, you can threaten them, um, and the prison are allowing you, while you're on it, to do it because they don't check. It's laughable, man. It really is laughable. And like I say, shows the state of the prison system for what it is in the UK in this day and age. And um, like I say, um, it's just laughable and it's disgusting and it's not worth the paper it's written on. Like I say, it's a good thing for the prisoners. They're able to carry on uh, threatening, contacting, harassing and everything else. These people and stuff that have got them on charges and everything. But then in the process, they can rack up further charges. But the thing is with the lads in jail, they don't give a fuck, right? You're sat there, you pick up the phone, you know that you, you, you're like, you know what, I'm not going to ring her. I'm not going to ring her. And they end up ringing this, the, their ex missus. Right? I was in for threatening my sister's ex boyfriend. It's different. I didn't break it. Yeah? I, I didn't even attempt to it. I didn't need to. Yeah. I knew there was like the charges were fucked. Yeah. And that was it. I ended up getting, I got six weeks. I ended up, uh, no, sorry, I got 28 days. I've done two weeks for malicious communication, right? Because you're a little pussy all that went to the police. But like I say, it goes on. Um, up and down prisons throughout the United Kingdom and where they pick up the phone and say you know what I'm not going to ring her because I'm going to end up with charges they end up ringing her and threatening her and all the rest of it and like I say it just it's another mockery of the Ministry of Justice the prison system um, and it's putting people's safety at risk and like people could commit suicide they could attempt um, suicide they could yeah, do you know what I mean they could blow down they might not turn up at court and all because the prison's fall and stuff it's just it, it just goes on 
Um, anyone, prisoners will know what the public protection unit is, public protection manual. Um, and like I says, it just says harassment procedures apply. But like I say, it's like you have been identified and all this stuff. It's a fucking joke, man. It's fucking not worth the paper it's written on. Might as well just use it as bog roll. It's that fucking stupid. Right, listen, guys, I waffled on for it long enough. I'll leave it there. I'll speak to you all soon, guys. Bye.